This is a very beginner level camera that I use occasionally. For example, I use it a couple of years ago to shoot a cinematic travel video. Now I'm gonna share some tips and tricks on how I created that video. But here is the issue. I deleted the project files due to storage limitations and the camera's memory card has also been formatted. It was not an accidentally format. I just have a bad habit of formatting the memory card right after copying the data. So my recommendation is don't make the same mistake I did. Always back up your important data like videos, photos and project files on multiple devices like an external hard drive, SSD or a NAS. That way if you lose data on one device, you can recover it from another backup. And if you are in a situation like mine, don't worry, there is a way to recover deleted or formatted data. I used a reliable data recovery software called Recovery from Undershare Technology. Let me share my real life experience of how I recovered formatted videos and photos from my camera using Recovery. First I'm gonna connect my camera to my PC on connected. You see that the camera's memory card shows up. The available space is around 59GB which means it's almost empty. If I double click on it you see 3 folders. The first one is DCIM which is used for still images and it's still empty. Let's go back and open the private folder where the video clips are usually stored. But you can see there are no videos in there either. Now let's move on to the next step recovering deleted videos and image files. Let's open on the share recovery once it's opened. You see the camera listed under the external device section. It shows around 59 GB free space just for reference. It is a 64 GB memory card but a portion is reserved for system use. Now begin the recovery process. Simply click on the camera drive. A pop-up window will appear right away recommending the use of in house recovery a feature specially designed to recover lost videos and photos from camera SD cards. On the left side you see a dedicated tab for in house recovery. Now click on try button to start the enhanced recovery process. Next select the types of files you want to recover such as video and photo if you are not already selected. At the bottom of the screen, recovery displays the recovery status. It begins a deep scan which can take some time so be patient. While the scanning is progress, let's take a moment to talk about undershare recovery. Recovery is a top rated data recovery software that helps you recover accidentally deleted, formatted or lost files due to disk partition across various devices. It has a high recovery success rate of 99.5%. Recovery also offers additional features such as creating bootable USB drive for system crashes and repairing damaged photos and videos. You can try it for free with limited features. If you find recovery available for your important projects, there are flexible pricing plans available for both Windows and Mac monthly, yearly or on-time purchase. I have also a dedicated video on recovery where I go detail about its interface, how to recover lost data and more. Check out the video description for more information on Undershare Recovery. The deep scan process is complete and the results are in. 1798 files have been found totaling around 96 GB. By clicking on recover, you can save your lost files. But before that, let's preview some of the videos and photos. To do this, we need to open the video folder, then navigate to the mp4 subfolder for the video clips. This folder alone contains 495 videos, which is a quite a lot, showing just how effective the enhanced recovery process really is. Let's scroll down to check out more video files. For example, you can preview this clip is playing well but not very smoothly, likely because we have not saved the video yet. Let's move on to another video. This one seems to have no quality issues. It looks really good to me, especially for a raw file. Next, let's preview a photo. We can open this folder to view a raw image. These photos were taken last year in 2024. By clicking on preview, we can take a closer look and this picture looks great with no noticeable quality issues. I have also checked other videos and images and they all appear to be in excellent condition. Saving recovered data like videos and images is very easy. First uncheck select all if you don't want to save every video. Then you notice this area becomes blank meaning no files are selected for recovery. For example, I am gonna select a few videos and then click on recover. A pop-up window will appear asking you to choose a location to save the files. You may notice that the SD card from the camera is disabled. This is because you can't save recovered files back to the same drive where they are lost from to avoid overwriting data. So I'll select the D drive on my PC first. After that, I'll click new folder to create a new folder on the D drive. You can also add a network drive like a server if you want. Now let's rename the folder. I am calling it recover for the easy identification. 
With the recover folder selected, click on recover. Once the files are saved, the folder will open automatically. Now let's open the mp4 folder where the recovered video clips are stored. You can see the videos we are selected to recover now here. To check details, right click on a video and select properties. It shows the file size is 77 MB. Clicking on the details tab reveals its length, resolution, FPS and more. This video was recorded in June 2023, meaning recovery it successfully recovered a file formatted nearly 2 years ago, which is really impressive. Let's preview the videos to see how they look. They look great to me with no quality issues and they play smoothly. You can also play the rest of the recovered videos if you want. So my honest opinion about Ondasha Recover it is that it is an excellent data recovery software. Yes, this is a paid promotion, but my experience with the software has been really impressive. Every single type it has done a great job. You can also try recover it for free to experiment with its features. All the details and the download link are in the video description. That's it for today's video. Hope to see you in the next one.